guys. Hello, hello. What's happening? I was like, oh crap, I hope I have not beat him. Not you. I was I was watching um Laura's channel. Yeah. <laughs> I was too, that's why I said that. I was like, oh I hope I did that. Uh -huh. I forgot. Hey Judith. Hey. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming. Hanging out with us. Appreciate you. All right, guys, we got Rev waiting. We're here. We're here. Why? Well, we you here, buddy. <laughs> You're late. What's the matter with you, bro? <laughs> hey, Susan. Okay, I got my chat up. I got my other chat up. I'm muted. I think I'm good to go. All right. So, all jewelry tonight. Uh, I got lots of brooches to show. I'll do some necklaces and stuff, but I think I'm going to mainly, uh, I got it all right here on my desk. I think I'm just going to pick from that big old pile <laughs> so I don't have to put it away. <laughs> we got Patty Teague and Kim Veazey and Harley. Hey, guys. Awesome, awesome. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. I had something on my mind, and it like flew away. It's gone. That's all right. That's, That's why I've been all night long. I look at Robert, I'm like... It's like, what? I'm like, well, crap, I was going to say something, now I can't remember what I was going to say. Right? And Susan said, hurry before Nikki gets here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, second chance. Hey, hey. Okay, guys. Enough of the chit chat. We're just going to hop in and uh, get to getting. I got to go pick Daniel up from my parents' house tonight, so I'm going to cut it uh, about the two hour mark, give or take a few more, a few minutes on that. So, uh, it's going to be a shorter auction than usual, but I got to go pick up my little boy. Hey, Mike. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, hey. boy? What's up, boy? What up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to put myself on up. I need a plain necklace for a pendant I got last time. Any how long? <laughs> yeah. How long of a necklace and uh, gold tone or silver tone or sterling silver? Let us know. I guess I'm sterling silver. I could always uh, shoot you a message later. Mm -hmm. No to monkey butt coffee. Ooh. That's a big fat no for me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here, I always start off a little small silver tone. It's a plain bracelet. You get the silver tone heart. Let's just do a $1 buy it now on this. It's got a lobster claw clasp. No tarnishing. There looks like some scratches probably from when they were wearing it and they were writing and stuff like that. It's a little bit of wear at the bottom of the heart. But that, uh, to me, wouldn't bother me. Susan, $1. You got it. And hey, Kate. And Rev says silver 14 inch, he guess. I have a lot of, mm. of that. So... I just don't remember where I put it. It's over there somewhere. Rev, I'll shoot you some pictures later, okay, bud? There's sterling silver. Hope that's okay. If not, I can sure find some sterling, uh, some regular silver tone. Okay. We are going to do... We're going to get to the brooches here. Why not? Uh, this one is not marked. Let me just double check. No, it's not marked. You get the gold tone leaf. There you go. Looks like you got some... Is it a pine cone? Pine cone. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a Christmassy brooch or not. Let's do a uh, three dollar start. All right. Yes, Susan. Um, I can go ahead and get you all invoiced up tomorrow because uh, I got to go pick up the boxes over at the post office. Apparently, they sent me a note today. <laughs> so your stuff is still sitting on my counter. <laughs> I will add for you. All right, you got it, Rev. Three dollar start on this. Gold tone, you get the two leaves. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like like berries or pine cones or what. There's the back side of it there. There we go. Any interest in this? We got Kim Veezy in at three, looking for that four dollar bid. There we go. And if there's no other interest, sell it to Kim for three dollars. All right, we are going once to Kim for three, looking for that four dollar bid. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. And let's see. 
Oh no, I feel the sneeze coming. Go away. All right, we're gonna do. This is one really long necklace. I got it doubled up like it's super long. We're gonna do a one dollar buy it now. The beads on it, they are. Uh, I think you got acrylic and glass. Glass. Yeah, acrylic and glass on here. Gold tone. No, you get the circle spring clasp down there. And Gina, hey Gina, I got you, girl. Thank you. Alrighty, that was my three. G Hello, Jean. Ah, okay, got it. Going over to Scooter. <laughs> uh, ready. There you go. I've got two of these. Winner will get choice if they want one or two of them because they're the exact same. But I got two more left of these. They're just that wire thing that you can hang like from your ceiling fan or your rear view mirror or in the window. And this one is silver tone. They're brand new in the bag. Silver tone, blue, and clear um, acrylic beads. And then it has a real big diamond on the end of it, diamond shape. So, dollar oh, start. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and like I said, I have two of them. I just took the other one out of the bag so you can see it easier. But they are new in the bag. My last two. Unless, I, for some reason, I find one somewhere else. <laughs> All right, guys, looking for that one dollar start on this. You're getting sleepy. No, I'm you want to buy me for a dollar? Buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Hang them in your uh, rear view mirror. Mm hmm. And it's got a little loop thing on here, and I think it will. It's got the little clamp thing there so i think you could probably adjust it by pulling this down a little bit more to make your hole a little bit bigger if you wanted to so any interest in this one you hit the <laughs> <of me. laughs> hey robin hey robin i was hoping it would work <laughs> oh i'm looking for that two dollar bid we're going to go once to Robin for a dollar, looking for two. <laughs> going twice. Last call, y'all. Fair warning. Sold to Robin. All right, girl, did you want one or did you want both? <laughs> I got two. So if you got a buddy or a family member you want to give it to, you could do that. And thank you, thank you. And she said both. Both, you got it. Thank you, Robin. All right. And then my second item, this will be a dollar bot now. It's just a simple key ring. I don't know if we got any M names in here yet, but it's a key chain that's got the big hook there. It's got the letter M, and it's got a real pretty uh, blue stone there. Dollar bot now for this one. I just saw it. I was like, oh, I don't need an M. Breaking news, there is a shortage of chicken. Are you for real? Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> yeah, watch that rev. <laughs> I know. He's good, 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 chew. One dollar buy it now. Get the keychain with the M. Hey, Lulu. And sold hey, Lulu. Thank you, Lulu. Hey, buying space. Hello, hey, hey. Yeah, a Mimi, Mimi. I didn't, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. I didn't think about that. Or if you are, oh, I was thinking my my aunt. Never mind. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> All right, two dollars start on this. This is a bracelet, brand new in the bag. It's got a seventeen dollar fifty cent price tag on it. It has the little toggle clasp, and then on the inside, let me see if I can open this. And it's gonna take it apart. Turn my light down. But it's real pretty, almost like a turquoise like stone in it inlay some sort of stone and it is silver tone there you go looking for a two dollar start on this and the brand on it just says best oops hey lindsay ann hey hey Kim Veezy's in at two. We're looking for three. New in the package. 
Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it. Make sure you're subscribed. And hit the bell for all notifications. We're going to go once to Kim for $2. Looking for that $3 bid. We are going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Kim. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Kim. And that was my three. Um, okay. Here we go. All right, y'all. Y'all. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this, this one is so freaking cute. It's like that pewter color. I don't know if it's actual pewter. It is a brooch. We're going to do a $5 start. It is marked JJ in the back. So you get the kitty cat, and he's playing with his ball of yarn. It is adorable. It's sitting in a basket full of yarn. Here's the back of it. JJ. So I noticed one of my friends signed up for the Facebook group today. Too. I noticed that, too. I'm like, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yay. Then I invited someone else to it. Awesome. There we go, guys. $5 start on this. This is a JJ brooch. You get the cat with the yarn dangling down there. Super cute. Had a lot of uh, cat brooches in this lot. I was like, geez. Apparently, the guy was clearing out of his kitty cat stuff. We got Kim <laughs> at five looking for six. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. And Julie, let me get you a wrench. I believe you sent me your info um, a little while back. And if not, that's all right. And I, I, I've seen you everywhere, so I'm not worried. We got Kim at five. We're looking for six dollars. And if there's no other interest in this, we're gonna go once to Kim Beasy for five. Going twice. Oh, I gotta show you guys something too. Last call. You did. Okay, cool. It's in my email somewhere. Then <laughs> it's sold to Kim. Thank you, thank you. Real quick, you guys, before I show something else, um, I sent Scooter a picture of it. I was watching Laura's auction while I was, well, I took a snapshot. But Are you going to show me? I am. I'm putting a deposit on this little shih tzu tomorrow. My, <laughs> friend, my friend here in town, she's a breeder. He's AKC certified. Um, but that's him. So that's my new pup. I go, I'm going to get him in about six or eight weeks. I forget which. I'll find out tomorrow more details on him. But that's going to be my new puppy. Are you going to leave his name as Jermaine? No, I'm going to change his name. I'm not going to keep it Jermaine. I think I was thinking like Slate or maybe oh, Rex, just because Daniel loves T-Rex. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty excited. So it'll give me a couple weeks to get my house puppy safe. <laughs> okay, this one's really cute. This one's very lightweight. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It is gold tone. It is all metal. It's a brooch. You get the phone, and it says hello. And then down here, it's uh, a message of true love. So it's just a little piece of paper there. $4 start. Name them killer. <laughs> Come here, killer. <laughs> Ankle body. Yeah. Spike. We got right. four, four. Thank you. Thank you. And it is a metal brooch. A message of true love. Hello? I'd be like, Daniel, anything that resembles a phone. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, name them, stay exactly right. Frankenboxer. <laughs> All right, sell this one to Kim for four bucks. <laughs> All right, we're going once. Going twice. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Kim. Hey, Cool Ranch. I have a multi Shizu mix and she's a true love of my life besides my husband. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. My cousin's got a couple of them back in New Hampshire and she loves her Shih Tzus. And um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go for it. It's I'm paying a lot of money for them, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. <laughs> my husband's like, how much? 
<laughs> All right. This one here, we're going to start it off at $5. It is marked JJ up at the top there. There it is. You have four dogs. And it's a cat brooch. You get the mirror. It does need some uh, Windex on it. But you get the back of the cat. But if you actually look at his reflection, he, he has a face in there and everything. It's super cute. Gold tone. But Jose said, if that's what makes you happy. <laughs> that five. Looking for six. There's a side view of it here. JJ. I have a dog and she's a little bit of my life and my husband knows it. <laughs> like you get home from work or whatever and your husband and your dog's here. You just go to the dog. Hey baby. <laughs> Husband's going. Fine. I would advise you to buy pet insurance on your new puppy. It will save you a ton of money in future vet bills. I so do you just get that at your at your uh, veterinary office? Sell this to Kim for five. All right. Or or do, you, do you get it? Um, Jose, no dum dum. Or do you get it? You your, your, your vet office. office. Oh, okay. No advice. And thank you for that uh, a little advice. Last and final call. <laughs> and we are sold. Kim, thank you, Kim. Yeah, I know uh, MetLife sells uh, pet insurance as well. Okay. So FYI, if you don't want to deal with your vet's office. All right. Good to know. You will find companies. Is it on your... Oh, Mike, you're late. <laughs> I just read something. Is it on your auto? Oh, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> they might now. Who knows? The pup will probably be more attached to Jose. Well, that's why I'm getting the boy, because I'm hoping the boy will be more attached to me, because usually the girl likes the guys more and the, you know, so forth, so I'm like, I'm going to get the boy pup. <laughs> Not in this household. <laughs> I'm the one that's home all the time. All right, we're going over to Scooter. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to start this off at $4. It does come in a box. Turn my light up. And it's a set. This is all stone. And then it's got the clear bead, like a light blue bead in between. It does have a lobster claw clasp with the extender. And then you get the matching hook earrings with it. But it's brand new in the box. Don't do pet insurance if your dog is an indoor dog. Yeah, I'll have to do some research on that and see what would be the best thing for me. More for the puppy, more for my pocket. <laughs> All right, guys, $4 start on this. You get the earrings and the necklace. It's all knotted in between. I did forget, though, you say glass or acrylic? It's all uh, glass. All glass. Uh, I believe it's stone on the big, on the big beads and then the glass on the little... And it almost has like that marble look to it on the bigger beads down here. You got Kim in at four looking for five. Oh, awesome. Con congratulations, Judith. That's good to hear. Uh, take it easy. I know I did for a while after all my treatment and surgeries and stuff. Don't push yourself. We got Kim at four. We're looking for five on this. All right, guys, we are going to go once to Kim for four. Looking for that $5 bid. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Kim. Congratulations. Thank you, Kim. And then my second one here, this one is more like a jade color. I don't know if this is, I don't think it's actual jade, but it is, um, beads and then you got the matching earrings and we'll do a four dollar start on this one as well it's a real pretty jade green color but this is all it's either stone or glass um i 
And again, it's got the silver lobster claw clasp with the extender as well. And it does come with the earrings, new in a box. We got Lulu in at four, looking for five. Hey, Zuli. And make sure he gets all of his parvo shots before you take him outside and to the grass because you can get sick with parvo and he'll die. And, oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happened to poor Harley. Harley had gotten a, either a Doberman or a Boxer. I can't remember what it was. And they spent some money on him and it ended up getting parvo and she ended up losing, losing him. Oh my God. Okay. I do appreciate all this info. It's been a hot minute since I had a little pup. Um, she said it's going to come with its Bordetella shots. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what else she said in the message. Usually so, they got to come with their first set of shots, usually. I think that's what she said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got Julie in at five, Lulu's in at six. Yeah. I'll probably make a vet appointment for it here. Um, a few weeks after I get them to go get you it. I want to make that the appointment pretty quick. Cause a lot of breeders will let if as long as you do the vet appointment within a certain amount of time. Um, if they, if you find anything wrong with the dog, they'll take the dog back and give you your money back or give you another dog. So make sure, you know, you ask about that too. Good to know. We got Lulu at a high bit of six. We're looking for seven. Sheesh. Poor pup, scary. And Susan Arrington or Julie Schwartz, did you want to come on in for seven? And that's like Bella. I have her on a heartworm flea and tick all in one pill, so you don't have to mess with you know two different brand, two different pills. Yep. So. We got Julie at seven, looking for eight. down on the grass with the floor until he gets all his shots and so wait at least two weeks after that. Dogs are a lot of work a good vet and they will instruct you. Julie's at seven. Lulu is out. She says she's, she's going to be uh, pad trained so I'll probably just keep him on the pad until I get him all situated. I'll put a pad in one of our bathrooms here. And FYI tip they also make puppy grass that's like a rectangle. I mean you can get it like in different sizes. But because you're in an apartment, you can put it out there on your uh, deck. And then he can just go out there and do his business on that grass. And not, you don't have to take him all the way downstairs. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And you'll have to look. You'll have to Google it. I can't remember what company it does it. But, yeah, you can buy it that way. We're going to go once to Julie for seven. Looking for that $8 bid. And I think it's like a monthly subscription. So they'll send you one every month. And you don't have to mess with reordering. Sounds like a great idea. I like that already. <laughs> Going twice. Last call. Sold to Julie Schwartz for seven dollars. All right. Thank you, Julie. And let's see, that was two, right? Or three. Correct. Okay. That was two. Uh let's just do this bracelet. I'll do this at a dollar bite now. It's a brass tone bracelet, but it's got a lot of detail to it. It's got floral print on it. There you go. And it's just a simple brass bracelet, dollar buy it now. This one dollar, buy it now. One dollar makes scooter holla. The inside is nice and clean. Second chance sold to you. All right, thank you, thank you. And that was my three. Thank you, thank you. All right, Rev, have you had your parvo shot? What? <laughs> My oh, because he said my wife has me on the same heartworm pill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this one we're gonna start it off at three dollars. Really pretty flower brooch. You get the nice light pink stone there in the middle. You get the clear ones around it, and it is it's got one marking and it says China on it. Silver tone in the back. I'm not talking to you, Alexa. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, there's a lot of dogs here. This apartment place allows doggy, so they're always people are always going outside with their pups. Kim's at three, looking for four. That's what I was thinking. That patio grass, or whatever they call it, that, you know, that way he's not even out there where the other dogs are. 
Oh, good to know. I'm glad you guys told me that. I didn't even think about that. So you you probably just saved the puppy's life. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, Kim at three. You're looking for four dollars on this. You get the pink petals, two pink stones, and the green leaves. And if there's no other interest, sell it to Kim. All right, we are going once to Kim for three. Looking for that four dollar bid. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Kim Jeezy for three dollar. All right. And oh. we're going to do this necklace here. Since it's right here. You got a silver tone chain, lobster claw clasp, nice long extender. We're going to do a $1 buy it now. It is not marked. You get the white acrylic petals. Come on, focus. With the rhinestones. Seriously? Seriously. There you go. $1 buy it now on this. And Julie, I will go ahead and send uh, Scooter the info for you. You're good to go. Sit back and relax. Lulu. <laughs> One dollar. Thank you, Lulu. Lulu. One dollar. Right. And then let's do. We're going to start this off at four dollars. It's a Cloisonne bangle bracelet. I'm going to try to show you the best that I can here. So it's all cloisonne, inside and out. You can kind of see it. It is, it is raised. It is wire raised, I do believe. The inside is not raised. The outside is. So there's the outside of it here. Let me see if I can get you a better focus on it. There's that. And then the inside, you can see it is a metal bracelet. Pet turf. Pet turf. Ah, that's it. I'll write that down. They were actually on a um, shark tank. And they make some pretty good money on that stuff. Pet turf. Okay, wrote it down. Any interest in the Cloisonne bracelet? There's a bangle. I got really big hands though, like extremely. <laughs> if there's no interest in this, uh, if anybody wants it for, oh hell, two bucks, let me know. Oh, put your name on it. And that was three, so going back to you, Scooter. All right. Okay, so first up, I have a vintage uh, Girl Scout watch. Uh, it's always been in the box. It was my sister in law. She's uh, been in Girl Scouts forever. Just needs a battery, but it's got the red, white, and blue flag on there. Red leather strap. It is adjustable. Comes in this little tin box with a flag on it. We'll just do a $2 start on this. Thank you, Lulu. I got you. And this, the uh, band is genuine leather. You got Rev, no, Lulu first. No, wait, hello. Rev and at two. <laughs> <laughs> Mike at three, looking for four. I had a moment there. Oh, yeah. I forgot you needed him. Sorry. We got Mike at a high bid of three, looking for that $4 bid. You get second chance at four, Mike at five, Rev at seven, looking for eight. Mike is out. Uh, second chance, what you thinking? Would you like to come on in for eight dollars on this? I think she is out as well. Yep. Okay, let me just copy and paste this, and I'll go over there and start calling it. 
Okay, and then we're going to go once to rev for seven, looking for eight. Going twice. I feel like I knew that. Hmm? Rev said, did you know the Girl Scouts have their own knives? I said, I feel I like I knew that. that. Uh-uh. Sold to Rev for seven. All right. Thank you, Rev. And then next, I believe this is a, let me just double check. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I thought it was Premiere, but it's Avon. And it looks like a Premiere design necklace, but it's got a lobster claw clasp. It's a kind of a, I guess, a rope chain. It's a thicker chain. And it comes down to this real pretty pendant that's silver. It's got some gold tone there. And then it's got that almost like a cat's eye um, stone there, but it's white. I don't know what you would call that. And what was your start? Uh, Two dollars. Sorry, I guess that would be helpful. Two dollars start. And again, it is a bond. A bond. <laughs> All right, guys, looking for a two dollars start on this. <laughs> that knife was a giveaway. And right there is your mark where it says Avon. And there it is. No tarnishing is in excellent condition. All right, guys. We got second chance at two. We are looking for three dollars on this. It is marked Avon. Any other interest in this necklace? We are going to go once a second chance for $2. Looking for three. Oh, and twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold a second chance. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, second chance. And then this next thing, I don't know if it used to be on something. I don't know what. But I was thinking, well, you can make a real pretty pendant out of it or just make a display. Um, but it's a beautiful butterfly. It's got these beautiful rhinestones in it. All the stones are there. Uh, it's missing one. Sorry. Missing one right there. But then, don't worry, you have another side. And all of the rhinestones is on that side. Uh, we'll start this off at $2.00. But I was thinking if you wore it as a pendant, you just put a chain right through there. I'm not sure what this might have went to. It's pretty nonetheless. Yeah, I love it. I think the stones and the glitter and everything just makes it gorgeous. You get Kim Veazey coming in first for two. <laughs> Julie Scooter ships from Arkansas. And I ship from Montana. And hey, Turtle Trader. Hey, hey. And this right here is... A little over um, two and a half inches long. Julie's at three. Kim's at four. We're looking for five. Julie's back at five. I'm looking for six. It is really pretty. I like that. Kim's at six. We're looking for seven. Julie's at seven. Kim's at eight, looking for nine. What you thinking? Julie's up at ten. She's not playing. We're looking for eleven dollars. Kim is out. So we're going to go once to Julie for 10. Going twice. Last call. Air warning. Sold to Julie. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Julie. And that was my three. Okay. 
And here we are. All right. Hello, hello. This is a big old brooch. It's not marked. We're going to do a, a $4 start. Gold tone. You get the faux pearl there in the center. Here's the back of it here. Again, it's not marked, but it's a pretty good size. Up to my palm there. Get that nice, real pretty uh, design around the edges there. There we go. I'll leave it just like that. Looking for a four dollar start on this one. Any interest in this? All right. We got Kim coming in at four, looking for five. And if there's no other interest, sell it to Kim. All righty. We are going once. Oops. There we go. Going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Kim. All right. And then, this, this next one is really, really cool. I just look at it again just to make sure. All right. We're golden. So this one's, this one's sweet. This is a JJ brooch. It's a wizard. You got the cane with the uh, snake with the red eye. He's got his little satchel down here. He got some rhinestones going throughout it. And here's the back of it. Uh, let's start this one off at $8. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. I'm not sure if anything was supposed to be going there or not, but his hands got like some blue glitter. I don't know if, there was, if he was holding a ball and it fell off, but nonetheless, it's still really freaking cool. That or it says magic powder. I don't know. <laughs> it could be his, you know, his magic dust. <laughs> we got excuse me kim in at eight looking for nine dollars on this that's a pretty good size nice and tall he's cool looking again it's mark jj on the back hey hey what's up girl thanks for being here are you guys done your auction already we get Kim at eight dollars, looking for nine. If there's no other interest in this, sell it to Kim. Alrighty. Oops. Okay. We are going once to Kim for eight. We're looking for that nine dollar bid. Patty P comes in at nine. We're looking for ten. Thank you, thank you. There's the back of it there. Got JJ. Yes, I ordered food. Oh, like you came from there. That's right. That's right. And Kim, would you like to come on in for ten dollars on this? Or are you out? Alrighty, go ahead and Kim's at 10, looking for 11. Thank you, guys. The chat's lagging wicked bad. Sorry, guys. I got Kim at 10. How do you get 11? Huh? I didn't know if it was that or the video. We got Kim at 12. We're looking for 13. I got about an eight second lag, so I think, yeah, either way. All right, sell it to Kim. All right, we are going once to Kim for. Whoops. Why does my cursor keep moving? Going once. Going twice. Looking for that $13 bid. Damn. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do this one here. 
<laughs> it's just it's weird. <laughs> We're gonna do a three dollar start. And you got this big, long, very heavy, good quality gold tone chain, excellent condition, and it comes on down <laughs> to this guy holding on to the chain, like he's hanging from there or something, pulling it. I don't know what. Uh, three dollars start on this. There it is. It's not marked at all. I just thought it was different. Again, like super long, heavy gold tone chain. And there he is. He's hanging from it. <laughs> He's doing a workout or something. I don't. I don't know what. <laughs> it's something different. Kind of lo looks like Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like this thing is, it's super long. It's past my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Zuli's at three, looking for four. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I just want the chain. Yeah, I don't blame you on that. <laughs> I wouldn't know how, well, well, yeah, you'd have to break the pendant, I think, or... Oh, no. You could fix it. That's easy. All right. Taking on for life. <laughs> Sell it to Zuli for three bucks. All right. We are going what? Zuli, or Zuli for three. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. All right. Thank you so much. And that was my three. So I'm going to put it back over the scooter. There we go. All right. I feel like I heard it somewhere, Rev. I'm going to have to Google it, see if I'm right, though. <laughs> All right. First up, I have a set of vintage clip-on earrings. They are gorgeous. They got light blue stones and more of a sapphire color stone. $5 start on this. There's the back. They're not marked anywhere, but they are gorgeous. Oh, good idea, Zuli. She's going to make senders for her belt. Oh, cool. And those are clip-on, you say? Uh-huh. Real pretty little clip-on earrings. Nice bling-blingy. Looking for a $5 start on this. Kim Veezy coming in for 5 Looking for 6 Any other interest in these? Are they marked? Uh -uh. Yeah, I looked all over. I didn't see any marking on them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Usually when they're on, I get treats. <laughs> Go once to Kim for five, looking for six. <laughs> it's already ten? <laughs> Yay. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. And you're sold to Kim. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then my next thing is, I can't remember if it was Reb that like belt buckles, uh, but I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to start it off at 15. It is from Mexico and it's about 82 grams is what it weighs. It has a gold, I believe that might be gold tone um, bull head there. But this all around it is Mexico silver. And then on the back, it even has right there. But it is a belt buckle. $15 start. Um, rubs at 15, looking for 16. And then it also has like a black inlay right there. But I think it's enamel, maybe. You got fifteen dollars looking for sixteen. Okay. 
Zuli's at 20. Hey, Wheels. Hey, Wheels. <laughs> I can find you one, Red. Yeah. <laughs> She'll ship it with it. <laughs> and that bullhead is uh, 3D, so it does pop out. Sorry, making noise. And Rev's at 22, looking for 23. <laughs> Zuli's at 24, looking for 25. Hey, Moonstone Mamas. Hey. Congratulations on getting your house up for sale. That's awesome. Yes. I bet you it would sell super quick. It Two looks days. so cute. Two days, you're going to have an offer. That was crazy how fast Tiffany sold. Mm-hmm. Cool Ranch said, Scooter, that's yes. a Texas Longhorn. It is. All right, Reb, did you want to come on for 25 or 26, or are you out? I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> I got Zuli at 24. <laughs> You'll feel good once it's all done. <laughs> All right, Rev, we're going to give you a few more seconds here, and then I'll start calling it to Zuli, but it's not sold until I type sold. 50K over house value, yep. All right, we're going to go once to Zuli for 24. Rev's at, uh, Rev, you would need to come on for 25 or 26. Rev's at 25, looking for 26. Oh, yeah. I believe it, Mike. Michael. <laughs> We're going to go twice to Rev for 25, looking for that $26 bid. Julie is out. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Rev. All right. Thank you, Rev. And let's see. For my third item, I'm going to do this for six. You get the brooch. It's all rhinestones. And the brooch is, um, I was going to say look like a ribbon. But now I don't know. <laughs> but then you also get the necklace that goes, I don't know if it actually goes with it, but it looks good with it. Has the um, boat over clasp right there. And then it's got the stones all down the side. And then here's the front of the pendant. So I thought these uh, baguettes match those right there. You've got Kim. $6 start. Looking for seven now. You get the brooch and the necklace. That's crazy, Mike. That's like our house. I was like, maybe we need to sell it well to get in as good. <laughs> <laughs> Judith is in at seven, looking for eight. I just don't want all that hassle of having to pack, and especially with all my stuff I have now. And uh, and have to put the house on the market and hoping that it sell to buy the other house. I feel you on that one, Michael. Crazy. All right. We got Kim at eight looking for nine. I remember I told my husband, I said, our house is only worth $210,000. And he wanted to put it up for what did I sell it for? Two thirty-five. Yeah. I'm like, man, we're never going to sell it. Two days later, we get full asking price. I'm like, oh, 
Oh, I'm glad we did it your way. <laughs> it was meant to be. Judith is out. We're going to go once to 10 for 8. Looking for 9. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Kim. All right. Thank you, Kim. And that was my three. Yeah, that's why I kind of want to rent until the market goes back down, and then I'll go buy something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do a $5 start for choice. I got two brooches here. This one's not marked anything, uh, but it says, I love crafts. You get the heart and the sewing threads and uh, some yarn with some needle scissors, a button, some more thread, some more fun stuff hanging down. This is your number one item here. Number two. Did you say $3 start when it gets choice? Five dollar start. Five dollar start. Got it. You get the golf bag here. Uh, you get the hat, the shoe, the uh, flag, the tee, and the golf ball. This one's a JJ. This one is a JJ brooch, and all the little um, charms are marked JJ as well. And the crafts one is not marked. So winner gets their choice. Kim's at five. We're looking for six. Wow, that's crazy. That's awesome, though. Any other interest in this? Winner gets your choice. I love crafts or a golf ball. Not ball, but bag. And if not, sell it to Kim for five bucks. All right. We are going once. Going twice. We're looking for that $6 bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Which one or ones would you like? One or both. Crafts or golf? Cam. I think I know what she's going to say, but I'll wait for an answer just in case. <laughs> All right, you got it. Thank you, thank you. And then, <laughs> I craft hubby golfs. Perfect. <laughs> We're gonna do another five dollar start. Winner gets their choice. This one is all resin. It's a big old brooch. All resin. You get the glittery cat with the bird there. And this is the back of it. Number two. This one is marked AJC. You get the cat holding the mouse with the dinner plate there ready to uh, have some dinner. And again, this one's marked AJC. Number three. This one is not marked, but you get the kitty cat in the chair lounging, hanging out metal. And number four is a Christmas kitty, and this one's marked KC. He's got the Santa hat, the, the wreath, and the little glass ball there. So there you go. We got Kim at five. We're looking for six. There's number one. Number two. This one's my favorite. Getting ready to have some chow. Number, well, this one's number four. So it doesn't really matter. I'm trying. Really trying. We got Susan at six, Kim's at seven. Hey, Bonnie. I don't remember if they said hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. <laughs> hey, guys. Oops. Kim's at nine, looking for ten. So this is the only one that is uh, a resin. He's got his little bird on his tail. My finger's kind of covering it, but that's all right. Um, Kim's at nine, looking for ten. Winner gets their choice. Hey, Patty Paws. Hey, Patty Paws. Meow, meow. This one's my favorite. Meow, Getting ready to have some dinner. Holding the mousey there. He's got his dinner plate. He's all dressed up to eat. <laughs> um, Kim's at nine. I gotta fix my wrist here. Owie. <laughs> 
Susan Arrington is out. So I think that's it. Call it to Kim for nine. All right. We are going once to Kim for nine. Looking for that $10 bid. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Kim. And which one or one would you like? You got the number one. Number two, number two through four. Yep. Got you. If anybody wants this one for nine dollars, let me know. Okay. And then we're gonna do another five dollar start. I got another brooch to show you. This one's a cameo. There we go. You get the white. Oh, I think, yeah, that's resin. White background. The black lady with the black outline. Silver tone border. And then here's the back. It is super comfy. I got a few more of them somewhere. I'll bring them out to you guys. All brand new. Soft and warm. I love the color. What was your star on this one? Five. Five uh, dollars. I've got a cameo brooch, and then uh, you can put it as a pendant too. It's got the little loop de do there. Loop de do. Any interest in the cameo? All right, but if there's no interest, that's all right. I'll take it over here and pop it down. And that was my three, so we're going to go on over to Scoot. All right, guys. So first up, I have another belt buckle. Might as well go ahead and get them out of here. Um, this one, I'm not sure where it's from, but I'm going to start this one off at eight. This one is silver tone, and then it's almost like a pewter uh, style horse there in the center. That's what it makes me think of. And then there's the back of it. And I think I tested this before. This is not real silver. Um, but the pewter, I think, that is there in the center. Nice looking belt buckle. Looking for an $8 start. Oh. Did you say it was marked at all? There was a sticker here on the back, but I don't know what that said. It's been rubbed off. Any interest in this belt buckle for eight dollars? All right, guys, in five, four, three, two, and one, we'll pass it. All right, not a problem. All right, and then next I have a vintage Trafari clip-on earrings and a brooch. I'm going to start this off at eight. Let me fix the pin before I poke myself with it. There we go. So here are the earrings. They are clip-on. They got the pearls there, faux pearls, and then the Trafari is on the back of the clip-on, and then you also get the matching brooch with it. Not sure how it's supposed to go, but again, it matches the earrings, and then on the back here, it does say Trafari right there. And this is vintage. It's got the pin poking out on the other side just a little. Only an $8 start. You get both. Judith coming in for eight, looking for nine.
any other interest in this? How much wear? Uh, there's not any wear on it whatsoever. The earrings probably could stand a little bit of cleaning up in between where the faux pearls are, but I mean, there's not any tarnishing or anything. Like they are in excellent condition. Any other interest in this set? We're going to go once to Judith for eight, looking for that $9 bid. Shafari clip on earrings and a Shafari brooch. I did. I couldn't believe it. What'd you get? She was selling brand 20 pairs of brand new on the card earrings for a $5 start. Wow. I wanted at five. Wow. <laughs> she must have got a killer deal on those. <laughs> right. And I got like seven seven sets of 20. <laughs> wow. Going twice. So, like, well, shoot, I'll take them all. <laughs> exactly. Last call. Good night, Rev. Thanks for hanging out with us. Night, Rev. I'll message Thanks. you later tonight or tomorrow. Going twice. Uh, no, no, we're sold to Judith for eight. All right. Thank you, Judith. And then for my third item here, let me see if I can. I feel like I'm getting blinder and blinder. Even with glasses. <laughs> I'm going to wait on that. I got to figure out what, what it says on the back. Um, let's see. This right here, these look like they are vintage as well. They are clip-on earrings. And I'm going to start these off at $5. Okay. There you go. These do look like they are vintage. They have the flower, and it's almost like a, um, oh, maybe like resin, and then it's got the clear rhinestones in the center of the flowers. And what color are the flowers? They are all, it's all white. And then here's the back. And it's marked right there with something, but I can't make that out either, so... I don't know if it was something like it was made somewhere or what. So you get the rhinestones in there and the mm -hmm. flower. Like in for a five dollar start on this. I did get the, the barrettes. I forgot about those. Any interest in these? I bet you they're way prettier in person too. They are. There's a lot of detail to it, and I can't describe what the material is. It's either... I'm, I'm just sticking with resin. <laughs> yep. Uh, resin. Looks like mid-century plastic from Japan. Oh, there you go. Don't move. That's the best picture you showed yet. <laughs> Showing stuff like that can be hard sometimes. Yeah, especially when they're white. Are the rhinestones purple? No, they're almost like the a almost maybe like A B. But all not, of them are there. They're not there's not one missing. No, not ceramic. It is resin. Or uh like like um Judith no. Yeah, Judith said mid century plastic. Alright guys, if there's no interest in these, we'll pass them. Alright, and that was my three. Okay, here's a brooch for, for Devin, or a real estate agent. Uh, $5 start. It's not marked. It's in excellent condition. No tarnishing. You get a for sale sign with a sold over it. You get the house with the chimney with the smoke coming out and the rock path going on up. Here's the back of it here. Oh, wait. It is marked. It's an AJC. AJC. Kim's at five, looking for six. So if you or someone in your family is a real estate agent, and there we go. They can go to work wearing this. <laughs> it's kind of heavy, actually. It's a pretty heavy brooch. 
any other interest in this brooch? We get Kim at five dollars looking for that six dollar bid. Sell it to Kim. All right, we are going once. Looking for that six dollar bid, going twice. Lad up, oh, Devin comes in at six. You talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for seven. This might be a good luck charm, Devin. Right? Sold. We got Kim coming in at seven, looking for eight. Hey, JC. Devin comes in at eight. We're looking for nine. Kim's at nine. Devin's at ten, looking for eleven. Kim is out. Sell it to Devin. All right. We are going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. There, now tomorrow morning you're going to wake up with a phone call from your real estate agent. We got an offer on your house. <laughs> All right. This next one I'm going to show. This one's really cool. It's a necklace. Oops. It's a necklace. We're going to start it off at uh, $8. Silver tone chain. Got the lobster claw class. Super long. And it comes on down. To this beautiful pendant and it's heavy like it's really heavy now let me show you what it is it's a magnifying glass so it opens up like this here and it's a magnifying glass again this has some some weight to it that is for sure thank you it's gonna be a gift from my realtor my realtor gift there you go awesome you're gonna love it so it is a, it's a magnifying glass so you can flip it Wear it this way, and no one can tell it's a magnifying glass, but when you need it, while well, it's wrapped around your neck, you just <laughs> What was your start on this one? Eight. Oops. Okay. Hey, Monster, coming in at eight. Hey, Monster Zero. Great condition. Just needs a little Windex on the, on the glass there. No tarnishing at all. It's in excellent condition. So I could, this is wicked heavy. <laughs> Hold on, it's gonna it's gonna go right down. So there it is. Monsters at ten, looking for eleven. All silver tone. It's a wicked cool piece. Kim's at 11, looking for 12. There's the design on the front there. Monster Zero is out to Kim, so sell it to uh, Kim for 11 bucks. What's <laughs> happening, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going once again for 11, looking for 12. Mmm, taco sounds so good. Go I gotta get, I'm going to get a hold of you tomorrow, uh, Alex. I got a few questions for you. I got to get my refrigerator stocked and ready to rock. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Kim. Okay, the next one I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do this little brooch. It's cute as all get out. It's a little choo-choo train. It's a brooch. We're going to do a $5 start. The uh, the wheels do turn. <laughs> there it is. It's good. It's good. <laughs> no tarnishing at all. I do not see a signature on it, though, at all. It's good. It's good. 
chugga 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 Okay, scooty patootie. <laughs> I got Kim in at five, looking for six. You got some orange and red enamel on there. Um, then you get the blue and white little rhinestones. Any other interest in this brooch? Any at all? It's cool. It's cool. Scooty patootie. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Y'all come up with the neatest names. <laughs> Sell this one to Kim for five bucks. All right. We are going once to Kim for five. We're looking for that six dollar bid. Go ahead, twice. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I think that was my three. Yeah, it was. So, huh. we're cool. We're going over to Scooter. <laughs> All right. So, first up, I have this brooch. I cannot make out what it says for the life of me on the back of it. But it is gorgeous. Nonetheless, I'm going to do a $5 start. It's got blue and silver tone. With that clear rhinestone in the center. There's no tarnishing whatsoever. It is in excellent shape. But the marking is right up here at the top. And I have taken pictures. I have used a magnifying glass. I cannot make it out. <laughs> so. And then the blue right there. You can almost see right through it. The glass or the glass. The light passes through that. Almost like a shell light. It is gorgeous. You got Kim in at five. We're looking for six. Mmm, avocado. Mm. You, you got it, buddy. I will. And Dad Gum, your mom keeps posting some good recipes. Somebody else posted one that had cucumber, tomato, red onion, and like vinegar and oil and a little bit of salt or something. I was like, oh, <laughs> my love language. You got, you got Julie at six. We're looking for seven. Yeah, she's always posting foodie stuff. I can't remember what it was she posted yesterday. It was, it looks so good. Yeah, Kim in at seven, looking for eight. Hey, Debbie, Debbie's at eight. Hey, Debbie? Looking for nine. How are you, Debbie? Are you, did you get to have your surgery finally? Kim's at nine, looking for ten. Debbie's coming in for ten. Looking for eleven now. Any crosses, not rosary beads. I got one. Got one sitting next to me. I'm not sure if it's. I'll show you. I'll show you next round. Good mess, Debbie. What? What? I don't know. Julie is out. We got Kim at 11. We're looking for 12. Oh, come and hang out with us and chill. Have a good time while you're sitting in there. <laughs> Debbie's at 12, looking for 13. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean. Kim's at 13. We're looking for 14. All right. Nice pretty brooch. I got thirteen dollars looking for that fourteen dollar bid. Uh, oh Julie's uh, oh yeah, okay. And Debbie, did you want to come on in for fourteen? <laughs> uh, bless your heart, Debbie. Debbie's at 14, looking for 15. Tim's at 15, looking for 16. My dad went to the ER last week, and he's got a large uh, kidney stone. Tried to take him to the urologist today, and he didn't have his wallet on him, so they wouldn't see him because he didn't have his ID or his insurance card. I was so frustrated. I was like, really? <laughs> I can't fax that to you later or right. talk to you. 
Debbie's at 16, looking for 17. Is it marked at all? It is marked, but I, I can't for the life of me read what it says up here. Oh, yeah, that's what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. Kim is out, so we're going to go once to Debbie for $16. Looking for that $17 bid. He's going twice. Oh, geez. Bowsers. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Debbie. All right. Thank you, Debbie. And let's see. That was just one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feels like it was more than that. Okay. This is 22 inches. It is vintage. It is a black faceted necklace. So you've got the circle clasp right there. And then this is all a glass faceted beads. Black. And again, 22 inches long. And it is vintage. And did I give you my start? No. Uh, Five dollars. Thank you, Turtle Trader. We go back July eighth. So, <laughs> like, golly. Well, they actually had a date before that week, but I'm like, no, I've got a daughter's appointment. So. Julie coming in hot for five, looking for six. I got five dollars, looking for six dollars on this. Yeah, Susan just said that's why I keep pictures of ID and cards on phone. That's what I'm gonna do. He's like, I'll, he he loses everything now. He'll be seventy in September, but um, so I, I go over there every Wednesday night to do his laundry and have dinner with him and everything. So I was like, when I come back tomorrow, I'll look for your wallet and I'm taking a picture because I got to send it to his eye doctor place too. That they were like, we're not making an appointment without having that information. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. When did y'all start doing this? <laughs> Like, can I not call you back later and give it to you? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Any other interest in this? We're going to go once. Julie for $5. Looking for six. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Julie. All right. Thank you, Julie. And then, let, let me write that down real quick. Julie. Which works. We are at five on that. Okay. This one, I'm going to start it off at uh, $2. It is a silver tone bracelet. It's got the safety chain right there. And then you just push down and it comes open. Try to get the safety chain out of it. But it's got a lot of detail to it. It's got the floral print. Super pretty. There you go. I have my parents after my mom threw the purse in the trash. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you got Judith in at two looking for three. Yeah, I haven't seen Jane in a while. Hope she's okay. Quintia. Hey, Quintia. She's in at three looking for four. Hey, Quintia. <laughs> Judith is at four looking for five. Quinty is at five, looking for six. Silver tone bracelet with a nice pretty design and a safety clasp. Chain. Safety chain. Judith is at six, looking for seven. Turtle Trader, I have to say, I'm a gatekeeper myself. So. <laughs> I got people that calls my boss. I'm like, okay, your name is? And they're like, 
such and such. Okay, and you're with what company? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you calling about? <laughs> Quinty is at seven. <laughs> Judith is out. So that was it. So we're going to go once to Quinty for $7. Looking for that $8 bid. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Quintia. All right. Thank you, Quintia. And that was my three. Okie dokie. These ones are really cool. They're brand new. I just took it out of that like really annoying, really crinkly packaging. <laughs> We're going to start <laughs> off at $2. And these little buggers, they're kind of heavy for, for, you know, what they are. They're all made of metal. And it says coffee on them. You get little coffee mugs. And it says coffee on both sides. They're the uh, hook earrings. So, again, brand new. Never been worn. I just took it out of the package because you can't really see them in there. And but they were a $2 how, start, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. And for how small they are, they got some weight to them. We got Cam coming in at 2. We're looking for 3. Thank you. Thank you. I need some coffee cup earrings. If I wasn't so sensitive to metals, I'd be keeping this. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Gina's at three. We're looking for four. Coffee, coffee. You get the coffee cup in the middle of the circle there. That's got, you know, it's steaming from fresh coffee. <laughs> You're a turtle trader. <laughs> I just thought it was funny when you said that. We got Kim at four. We're looking for five. And these are solid. They're not hollow or anything, as they definitely got the weight to it. <laughs> hey, Cool Ranch. Thank you. <laughs> That's a compliment, Cool Ranch. <laughs> you got Susan at five. Kim is out. So, G Gina. Gina. Yeah. She's out too, so sell it to Susan. All right. We are going once. Looking for that six dollar bid going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold to Susan Arrington for five dollars. Thank you guys. Ooh, hello. Oops. Okay. So this is the only cross that I have next to me at this moment in time. We got a gold tone chain. Um, there is no clasp on it, no tarnishing. It is in excellent condition. And this pendant is super heavy, too. Um, let's going to do a $3 start. You get the two cardinals, and it says choir down here. And then the back of it here, uh, I got it. it is Terra. Santa Guild. Okay, let me just type that out for you guys. Hold on. <laughs> All right, this is, that's what it says on the back of this here. And this is a metal as well. So this is all metal dependent, and it says a Terra Saint uh, Guild in uh, Israel on the back of it. It's a pretty good size pendant. Cool Ranch coming in at three, looking for four. Who's that? The chain doesn't really quite match the metals of the pendant, so you could always switch it up if you wanted to. There we go. Any other interest in this neck? Uh, yeah, necklace. Any at all? And if not, you can go ahead and sell it to Cool Ranch for three dollars. All right. We are going once. Come on. Here we go. Go on twice. Last final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Okay. Cool. And then, next 
know what to do. Okay. We'll do a $5 start on this one. Get another little JJ brooch here. You get the watering can, you get the sunflower, the uh, digging fork there for gardening, the shovel, and then the pea pod. Here's the back of it. And the charms are marked JJ, and so is in the watering can. There it is. You got Kim coming in at five. We're looking for six. Thank you, thank you. Super cute for the gardeners. Debbie's at six. We're looking for seven. Kim's back at seven, looking for eight. Debbie's back at eight, looking for that nine dollar bid. Great condition. Kim's at nine, looking for ten. JJ. And Debbie, would you like to come on in for ten dollars on this, or are you out? Debbie's out, so sell it to Kim. All right, we are going once to Kim for nine. We're looking for ten. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Dokies, that was my my three. Going over to you. Okie dokie. Here you go. All right. This seems like it is pewter to me, but it is a butterfly pendant. It looks vintage as well, but it's got some blue stones in it. If it will focus. There we go. Super pretty. What's your start? Uh, let's just do a $2 start. $2 start? Mm hmm Here's the back. Uh-oh. Looks like it's got some blue enamel. Hmm? My mom said, Daniel wants to go home. Oh. <laughs> Susan's at two. Debbie's at three. Julie's at four. Looking for five. Kim's at five. Looking for six. Oops. And then you got Julie at six dollars looking for seven. Susan is out. So um Julie, did you want to come on in for no no Kim, did you want to come in for seven? <laughs> Sorry, had a moment there. <laughs> can you uh, can you show the back? Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. Kim's at seven. We're looking for eight. He doesn't want me to drop him off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Julie's at eight, and we're looking for nine. <laughs> Is it missing a stone? It is not. I was looking at that one there. I thought maybe it might have uh, slipped. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. But all the stones are there. It is not missing a stone. Uh 
we get Julie at a high bid of eight. We are looking for nine dollars. Let us know what you want to do, Kim. If you're out, she's out. We're gonna go once to Julie for eight dollars, looking for nine. Going twice. And last call. Air warning. Sold to Julie. All right. Thank you, Julie. All right. And then next, I have a cross pendant. I'm going to start this off at $3. It is gorgeous, in my opinion. Uh, silver tone. And then it's got the rhinestones and the stones in there as well. There you go. Thank you for that $3 start on this cross pendant. Debbie's in at three. We're looking for $4 on this. Any other interest in this pendant? We're going to go once to Debbie for three, looking for four. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Roll to Debbie. All right. Thank you, Debbie. And then my last pendant here I have is another cross, and it's bigger than the other one, but I'm going to start it off at uh, $2. You say two? Mm hmm Okay. And it is all uh, silver tone metal. There's the front of it, and then here's the back. And as you can see, it's, you know, pretty big in my hand. That's a good size. Mm-hmm. Cool Ranch is in at two. We're looking for three. Nice, pretty silver tone cross. You're making some jewelry. You got a chain that needs a pendant. There you go. Any other interest in this one? We're going once to Cool Ranch. Going twice. Last call. Let's hold the Cool Ranch. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And that was my three. Okay. And guys, we're going to cut this auction kind of short tonight. My little boy, I got to go pick him up. He wants to come home and he doesn't want my, his memory to drive him. He wants me to go get him. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the last round here. This one here, um, we're going to do a $2 buy it now before you buy it. Hold on a second. You got the Silver Tone Lobster Claw Clasp. It is marked uh, Pier 1. Really, really pretty. All the glass beading. You got the flowers. It's missing one green bead is what I'm guessing it's missing. That one that's right there should be there. But $2, buy it now. Other than that, it looks great. No tarnishing, nothing. Just missing a glass uh, green bead. That is it. You're welcome, Cool Ranch. Thank you. Gina, you got it. They figure take off that little metal piece and... Mm -hmm. You really have to be looking at it to notice. And then we're going to do a $2 buy it now for choice of. I got five. These are clip-on earrings. These are like a green acrylic piece. And you got, I think this is acrylic too, a silver piece here. They're kind of chunky. So that's number one. Number two is a Hannah Essentials. You got the gold tone hooks here. And you get the tricolor. You get gunmetal, silver tone, and gold tone. Hannah, yeah, that's number two. Number three, these are post earrings. Uh, no, they're not. Hello. They're clip-on earrings is what I wanted to say. And they get the little clear glass balls here. Clip-ons. Okay, before you... I get your treats. Get your treats, buddy. New on the card, silver tone and gold tone. I just hear Laura sitting there going, 
did you hear them, buddy? Spike, they said you could right. hear them. <laughs> That's number four. And then this one's number five. So this is the one that like threads through your earlobe, but then you get the like the chain here. There we go. This is a Natasha. So two dollars buy it now for choice. And Lulu's in for two. So did you want number one? Number two. Number three. Number four. Or number five. There you go. And got these five to choose from. The glue. One, two, number four. The Liz Claiborne. Let me know if I'm right, just in case. All right. I got you, and I got the rest of them available if anybody's interested. My last item for the night, we're going to do a, all right, awesome, thank you, Lulu. We're going to do a $3 buy it now, the Red Hat Society brooch. It's not marked, so you got all the rhinestones going around here, and then there's the back of this one, silver tone. Number five, you got it, Quintia. I got you. Thank you. And then three dollars start on this. Uh, buy it now. So Kim. All right, that was my three. We're gonna go on over to Scooter. All right. So this I'm just gonna uh, start it at a dollar. I think it's vintage. It is uh, not not in between, but it does have the barrel uh, clasp right there. Real pretty purple. And of course, the beads graduate from the smallest to the biggest. You say glass or uh, plastic? Um, it's probably plastic. Yep. You get Gina coming in for a dollar, looking for two. Julie's in at two, looking for three. And what color is that, Scooter? It's a very light purple color. I got Juliet 2 looking for $3. Almost like that marble look to it. Gina is out, so we're going to go once to Julie for $2 looking for 3 We are going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold for Julie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then number two. This one has, looks like some. I'm going to start this off at $2. Hey, John. And I believe this is all acrylic as well. But again, it is vintage. It's got the barrel clasp right there. This one is, looks like it's got purple, green, and white in it. Hey, John. So, purple, green, and then the clear color. But they're kind of that uh, cloudy look. You got Gina at two looking for three. Hello, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Do we have her information? We do not. So, Jennifer, we need your information in order to message you. So, send us an email if you need to reach out. We got Julie at three, looking for four. <laughs> Gina is out. We're going to go one to Julie for three dollars. Going twice. Last call. Sold for Julie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then for my final piece tonight. This one I'm going to start at. Okay. Let's 
I don't know if this one piece came off of it or it doesn't look like it though because I don't see another piece that matches it. Anyways, I'm going to start this one off at $3. It's got the shepherd's hook. It is silver tone beads and it has all these different charms hanging from it. And Jennifer, I'm going to copy this message and put it in my private chat and I will send you an email after the show. Thank you for being here. There we go. I got it in. And you said a three dollar start. Kim's at three, looking for yep. four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in there. I think it's just an extra pendant, but because it doesn't match any of the others, and I can't tell where there's one even missing if there, like there's not another little loop hanging off. But I'm gonna send it with it just in case. Debbie's at four, looking for five. Definitely would be a great repurposing piece if you wanted to do something else different with it. That's not a necklace, it's a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kim at five, looking for six. It looks like they, these right here are little black birds. Julie's at six, looking for seven. Definitely different. You got Debbie at six, looking for seven. Kim's at seven, looking for eight. Kim's at nine. We're looking for ten dollars for this necklace slash weapon. <laughs> Julie's at ten. Looking for that eleven dollar bid. All kinds of fun dangly charms. Yeah, Julie at 10 looking for $11. Any other interest in this? Kim or Debbie, let me know. Debbie's at 11 And metal or plastic? Ah, uh, let's see. It's all metal is what it feels like. There might be, some of the charms might be have a little bit of a uh, plastic, might be plastic, so, but the beads themselves are metal. And then some of these are as well. So we got Julie at $13, looking for $14. A <laughs> weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is out. Uh, Debbie, what you thinking? Did you want to come back in for 14? Or are you out? Oops. Debbie is out. We're going to go once to Julie for $13. Looking for that $14 bid. She's going twice. Last call. Air warning. And you're sold to Julie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And that was my last one, Tiff. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I'm cutting it a little bit short. I got to go pick up my little guy from my parents' house. And uh, that's it. So we'll be back on again Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Mike Kretzer is going to be on with us. We're going to be doing a little bit of everything and anything. I think he's got some vinyl records and all kinds of fun stuff that I don't think that we have. Um, so make sure you come and join us. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that thumb, uh, thumbs up on the way out. Make sure it's blue. And you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you, guys. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.